I know, I know, the Thug Shaker has been out for several years now, and that is positively ancient in terms of internet relevance. You can do the Rump Shaker, huh? The Thug Shaker. Give me the Thug Shaker, dude. However, the Thug Shaker has officially peaked in mainstream areas of the internet, and that's worth discussing. Not only is it insanely popular on TikTok, but it's also made an appearance on Daily Dose of Internet, cementing itself as a premier piece of online culture. Do the Thug Shake. What's up? It all started thanks to a very not safe for work video released in 2020, posted on a very not safe for work website, in which a man is asked to perform the thug shaker and shakes his butt. The words thug shaker would almost immediately be picked up in the same year and spread around as a post, initially just with the ironic not safe for work videos and then later into a full on torrential flood of content. These types of videos work extremely well into the classic bait and switch format wherein a seemingly innocuous piece of content is presented and then switched into footage of someone doing the thug shaker. It's a similar reception to the I'm about to come meme wherein Dreamy Bull is celebrated for his best work. Homoeroticism is a huge part of online communities, especially in meme culture. From Billy Harrington in the early 2000s, to the twerking guy in 2019 becoming one of my first demonetized videos, to the thug shaker exploding in relevance since 2020 and ending up being the name of a Discord server wherein official military documents were leaked in 2023, it's pretty clear people like sharing half-naked men. These men have effectively become folk heroes thanks to the efforts of artists promoting them, to the point where the entire dialogue from the original thug shaker clip has become immortalized as a copypasta. So why are these homoerotic videos? is so popular. Well, going back to Billy Harrington, it turns out it all more or less started in Japanese areas of the internet. Remixes of erotic wrestling videos were extremely popular on classic sites like Nico Nico Duga, wherein they'd be subjected to the bait and switch treatment, or just silly edits. This tradition would simply continue with new actors to keep it fresh, like Ricardo Melos, who became a popular mainstay in the early 2010s of Japanese meme culture, but wouldn't see mass adoption in the West until the late 2010s. It just goes to show that perhaps people genuinely like homoerotic footage quite a lot. If you share it ironically, then good for you. And if you share it just because you like the way it looks, then good for you too. It's kind of a win-win situation. In short, the thug shaker making its way to daily dose of internet and a single meme of it receiving over 20 million views on Instagram, whilst being the name of a Discord server wherein official military documents were leaked, demonstrates a long life to a meme that evidently resonates with not just a few people, but hundreds of millions across the globe. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! Ha ha ha!